consider now the generic water pumping system now it is a cascade of all the components starting from the pv source pv source is output is connected to a power converter the power converter may be a dc converter dc to dc converter or a dc to ac converter depending upon whether it is driving a dc motor or a ac motor then the output of the power converter is powering the motor and the motor is driving the shaft of a pump it could be a centrifugal pump or a reciprocating pump and the pump is actually taking care of the hydraulic system containing the suction head delivery head uh, friction losses and all those things we know how to estimate the power for the hydraulic system we have done that all along in few examples and that is ph this is the hydraulic power based on a particular amount of uh, discharge within a uh, specific discharge time diameter of the suction uh, pipe delivery pipe with all those th considerations we have seen how to calculate the hydraulic power now the pump will have an efficiency np motor will have an efficiency nm converter power converter will have an efficiency nc then the pv power power ppv is what so motor output should be capable of delivering ph by np power converter output should be capable of delivering ph by nm and np and the photovoltaic panel or the module should be capable of delivering ph by nc nm np all taken care all the efficiency coming into the picture typical values of efficiency are for the pump 70% for the motor 80% for the power converter 90% you see the motor you can um, even 85% efficient motors are available 90% efficient motors are available but take a conservative value of 80% so that you don't uh, you don't uh, 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 feel that the later on that the pv panel size is not sufficient to handle the uh, entire uh, system once you change the motor or a poor uh, motor uh, motor has deteriorated uh, with time uh, all these factors uh, the power converter efficiency also you get for 98% but it is safe to take a 90% conservative value so that uh, you are on the safe side now ppv will be ph by 0 0.9 0 0.8 0 0.7 and if you uh, calculate all this it is two times ph so whatever hydraulic power that you calculate here when you size the pv panel it should be twice the hydraulic power that you calculated so you have to rate uh, rate the pv panel for this power requirement and also for the entire year you find out the hat minimum the minimum energy incident on a given day at a given place and that hat minimum you have to use for sizing the pv panel we have discussed this in week three and four go through that and if you do that then on any day in the year your system will be capable your pv panel will be capable of powering this hydraulic uh, uh, water pumping system for this particular hydraulic power requirement.